Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial and in this quick tutorial I'm actually um, want to note out two things the first thing is that the internal IP that we're using here to forward our port can actually change because it's it's just not a static one it's by default a dynamic one uh, sent to your computer by the DHCP server of your router so you're gonna need to either keep eye on this internal IP and change it manually in your router configuration if it changed in your computer or simply assign your computer a static IP and this is pretty simple you're gonna go to your control panel and then go to the uh, network and internet you're gonna go to the network and sharing center then you're gonna hit change adapter settings you're gonna right click on whatever you're using if you're using Wi-Fi so right click on Wi-Fi go to the properties and then you're gonna choose internet protocol version 4 you're gonna go to the properties of it and then it, it, by default it obtains the IP address automatically from the router so you want to use the following IP address actually and you provide the IP address so I'm writing in the IP address 192 one six eight one sorry about that one one uh, zero and the default gateway is one nine two one six eight one one which is actually the URL of your router um, okay and then you can provide the DNS servers whatever DNS you want to use I'm just gonna use eight, 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 and eight, 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 eight for for Google, I guess. Let's hit OK, and that's it. So if you now go to your um, CMD and type ipconfig, then you're gonna find that this is now your IP address, right? So it's now static, which means that it will never change. So this is a method of doing it. You can do this through your router itself uh, by assigning this IP to the MAC address of your computer. I'm not going through this, but you can um, search for this if you want to. And one other thing is that not your local IP that only changes, but also your external IP, which means that the uh, free subdomain that you created at no IP it w will have to point to some other IP address depending on your current uh, router IP address so what you're gonna want to do is actually use something that is called dynamic DNS and what the subdomain we created is actually a dynamic uh, is used for dynamic DNS and this is going to be different also um, according to the type of your router for sure so I'll leave a link down and below in the description showing you how to uh, configure this based on your router type but for me if you're having a TP link router like this then you want to go to the network and then the dynamic DNS and our DNS um, service provider is no IP then you're gonna type username which is actually your your email then your password then your domain name, in my case, basiltech.ddns.net. And then you want to log in. So it will connect to your, uh, to the DNS provider and the success. I'm going to save it. And we are done. Now, whenever your IP changes, it will be reflected to your domain name, um, the subdomain that we created in, in the no IP um, website. So these were two things that I had to um, actually mention out because when they change, you're no longer going to receive anything. So that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one.